Good morning, everyone. Donovan here. I'm going to bring you a quick video on a topic that I uh, spoke with a coach yesterday. So an owner that I work with, I was sharing this advice with him, and I just really thought that everyone in the group could uh, benefit from it. So what we're going to talk about today, he asked, how can I attract higher paying clients, right? How can I attract higher paying clients into my program and make sure that they can afford my services? So one thing to remember is the six week trial is designed to cast a wide net. So you're going to get a lot of people in your program. So like last year, you know, we signed 250, 260 members just in the Taekwondo program alone um, on the six week trial. Our, our goal is to convert about 60% of them. So that means nearly half of them will not convert, whether it be schedule. Um, a lot of them, it is, we're too expensive. And the cool thing is, is that's fine, okay? There are martial arts programs out there in my town, in your town, that they can't afford, and they can go to those martial arts programs. Um, with our school, we have set prices. We don't change prices for anyone. It is what it is. It's a set price because we have a, a cost that we have to cover um, to be able to operate at this high level, okay? So... You know, the six week trial is designed to cast a wide net, but from there, how do you get higher paying clients? You raise your prices. Okay, so a lot of you think about this. If you have a $99 option for two times a week, if you have a you know 129 option for uh, three times a week, maybe your unlimited is 159, um, you're going to attract people at that $99 price point because it's on your menu. All right, it's on your uh, option. So you're going to want to raise your prices. So if you know if you want people that can afford 149 a month, don't make that your middle price, make that your lowest tier price, okay? So think about this. If you go to a, an expensive steak restaurant, you know, they might have $100 steaks on the menu, but they're probably going to have like an 18 or $19 burger on the menu as well. So even though, you know, you go to this expensive steak restaurant, there's people that go there just specifically to order that burger because they don't want to pay $100 for the steak. And they they don't believe the value is there. They don't want it. And they probably can't afford it. And, you know, they just want the burger. But they want to be in the culture and the environment of an expensive steakhouse. So you're going to have those people if you keep offering these lower tiered options for your members. All right. So, you know, a lot of times you want to lower your prices to get more members in your door, but all you're actually allowing yourself is to ha add more headaches, more questions, and uh, just more crap to your life. Remember, uh, birds of a feather flock together. So if you're hanging out with lower income people, people that can barely afford your $99 a month program, you know, they're going to be able to grow your program with more people that can barely afford your $99 a month program. So make sure when you're growing your program, you have a set price. Uh, you want to attract the higher end people in your community. I know I get this a lot. I, you know, coaches say I can't, aff I can't afford. Uh, people in my town can afford it. They just, that price is too high. Um, there are people in your town that can afford it. And guess what? They have friends that are just like them that are willing to spend money on a premium service. You know, if people weren't willing to spend more money, nobody would have Mercedes Benz. We wouldn't have Range Rovers. We wouldn't have Maseratis. Everyone would just drive a Kia Sophia, right? If that's all people worried about, if they weren't worried about price, that's fine. Think about Lululemon. How many girls buy Lululemon and wearing $200, you know, outfits to the gym? Why? Because it's a statement. It's like a status thing, right? They keep that freaking bag, even though it's a plastic bag and it's free. They keep that bag because it's a, it's a symbol of status that they're willing to spend this type of money on their program. So you need to establish yourself as the expensive program. Establish yourself as the most expensive program in town because you have a better service, you have a better facility, you have better coaching staff. You know, make it cool to be in your program. So when parents in your community say, you know, ask another parent, hey, where does your kid go to martial arts? Uh, obviously, they go to Charleston Taekwondo. It's the best in town. Um, you know, that's the kind of culture that we want to build because those people don't mind paying a premium price for a premium service. And I'll tell you this from personal experience, and I'm sure most of you can attest to, is uh, people that pay a premium price uh, don't ask and they put their memberships on hold when they go on vacation for two weeks. Um, you know, they, they didn't miss a week last week and say, hey, can little Johnny make up these classes? You know, he missed last week because we were just busy. You know, these people don't worry about little things like that, trivial things. But if someone's paying $99 a month and they missed one class last week, they're the first ones calling and emailing, hey, you know, little Johnny missed a class. Like we need to make it up this week. You owe us a class. I don't owe you anything, actually. I, I held my end of the contract. However, my point to this all is raise your prices and hang out and, and uh, you know, hire better members in your community, hire better members uh, for your gym, and you're going to take care of a lot of headaches that you deal with on a daily basis. So if you want to attract higher paying clients, have an awesome facility, have an awesome coaching staff, uh, have an awesome program, find people that are willing to pray, uh, pay a premium price for your services, and then get them to bring all of their friends into your 
your program. Be the cool place. Be the Lululemon of you know martial arts in your area. Make it a status thing where people think you know if they want to be in the in, if they want to be in the know, they have to be at your school. All right, guys, take care. If you have any questions, ask below. Love to help you. Bye.